Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I need to give all praises. I need glory. I say Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Chakadash. The bondage to the apostles and the elders a great millstone. And peace and salutation to the Akiyam, to the elect. I know that scattered across the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth and faith and sincerity. I'm the bro Shema'ala from the GMS Eastern Camp. And this lesson is basically going to be about not hastening above the Most High. Uh, because, you know, we all want the kingdom to come. You know, we all want this, um, the kingdom of Esau, Edom to be destroyed and taken out the way. You see, but it all going to happen in the, on the most High's time. You see, we can't do nothing to speed it up or to slow it down. You see, the most High is in complete control. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has everything planned out because, you know, this is his, this is, this is his story. She said, the story got to play out how he wanted to play out because he's in charge. You see, everything has to go according to the will of the Most High. Everything follows his will. You see? So we are subject unto his will. We are subject unto prophecy. You see? So I'll start here in 2nd Edges 4 and 34. Says, and he answered me, saying, Do not thou hasten above the Most Highest, for thy haste is in vain to be above him, for thou art much exceeded. So, you no, know, we got to be patient. You see, that's what the Most High command of us is, is to have patience. That's part of the suffering, dealing with the wickedness, you know, of this place. You see, being vexed, putting up curses. You see, want to see an end, right? Crying out. For all the uh, the abominations that be done in the midst of us. See, Esau, he hasn't reached his, his full potential yet in wickedness. See, he still he still got a, a little more to do before the most I can pull a plug on him. See, and that's why in the book of Job it says in the, in the, the fullness of his sufficiency. See, when his plan, when, he get, when his kingdom gets to the, the, the highest that it can get, know when it when it when it seems like that his plans are about to be fulfilled in his mind he feel like he got everything in the right place you know he start acting upon it right soon as that moment that's when the most high is gonna mess up everything and, and disappoint him see and that's what we gotta wait until that time see because you got a lot of people that can't wait see they they want to take up arms they right, want to buy guns, you know, go to the gun range, do all this training. And he, that's that's not going to help nothing. That ain't going to help nothing. Book of Romans, the 13th chapter, tells you about being in subject to the powers that be. Hey, because the most High is with him right now. And if you're going up against him, the so-called white man and his and his government and his, uh, his uh, military and all of that, you're trying to go up against that, hey, you're going to get slaughtered. The most I gonna allow it to happen. See, when you read about in the book of Acts, the fifth chapter, it, it, it speaks about a, a, a man named Judas, all right, and also Judas, right, that rose up and they were put down because it ain't the way that the most I wanted to do it. You can't hasten above the most I and what he wanted to do. If you try to mess up the plans, then you're gonna end up getting messed up. Second, that's just four. And 37 says, by measure had he measured the times, and by number had he numbered the times. He do not move nor stir them until the same measure be fulfilled. See, so the most I got everything planned out. All right? And he can't skip plans. He cannot skip prophecy. He cannot skip things that are written down, skip over things, and just proceed to the next. No, everything got to play out in order. Your most I says that he likes things to be done in decency and order. When he spoke it through Paul. In the book of First um, Corinthians, the 14th chapter. Everything got to be done in decency and order. The Most High is not the author of confusion. See, so the Most High said, it says, Hey, shall he not do it? Say, he is not a man that shall lie. So things have to come to pass. And we got to be patient and, and, and wait through it all. You see, we got to wait for the Most High to act. Because, hey... No matter what you think, if you think things are going too slow, it's going. It's all according to the Most High's plan. 
You see? But it's not. The most I say he's speeding up the days for the elect's sake. So, you know, things are going how it's supposed to go. See, we just got to endure. See, that's why those words are in there. Enduring, patience, you know, suffering. Right, then it's gonna come to the time to where the most I gonna pull a plug. This is a uh, Job 14 and 5. It says, Seeing his days are determined, talking about you saw Edom, so called white man, right? And his power structure. It says, His days are determined. The number of his months are with thee. Thou has, abounded, thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So, the most I already got it set on how long he's going to allow this man to rule in this kingdom. Uh, how, long, how long he's going to allow this kingdom to stand. He got the right number of days. The exact number of days. You see, we don't know it. But the most I know, it's all good. You see, the most I, he got it all figured out. We don't need to try to do nothing, come up with no plans. You should not. We just got to wait it out. That's all we got to do. And in a certain amount of days that the most I got, Esau ain't going to go past that. The most I ain't going to change his mind on that. You know what? I'm going to give him a hundred more days or this and that or a couple more years. Nothing, nothing. Not even a day past that. The most I got to figure it out. This is... Second Thessalonians 2 and 7, it says, For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work, which is talking about the Romans during that time. All right? They the devil, which are the Edomites. See, which uh, the modern day uh, Romans are the you know, so called white people here in America. Right? This is Rome all over again. You see, it's back. they back. It's Rome reincarnated. Right? And it says, Only he. Who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. So the most I gonna let this man do what he gotta do, you know, fulfill his wickedness. You see, until you know that time comes. I remember the most I he told um, Abraham about the uh, the iniquity of the Amorites not being full yet. You see. They had the, the, the Canaanites in that land had to do things first to be kicked out of the land. Right? In the land of Israel, which was the land of Canaan. You see, even though the Mosai cursing Ham <laughs> really justified everything, but still they still needed to do more things. That's why when you when you read in the law, it spoke about uh, the laws that were written down were the things that the, those Canaanites was doing in the land. And that's why the Mosai spewed them out of the land. See, for the thing that they were doing. Right? But it said that, that, that their iniquities weren't full yet when he told it to Abraham. So, hey, the, 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 the iniquities and the sins and the, and the plans of the uh, so-called white man, hey, the iniquities, his iniquities ain't full yet. He still got, he still got some things to do. And then it's going to be time to, you know, to throw them down. All right, last scripture. Zephaniah 3 and 8 says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, said Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the praise. So he said, Look, wait, wait upon me till the day that I rise up, till I come, till I do what I gotta do. See? Rise up to the praise. Who's who's the praise? Talking about Esau Edom, right? The Edomites, and also these different heathen nations. Because when the Lord comes, they're gonna turn into the praise. We the pray right now because we don't have no strength. We don't have power. We 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 ain't subject unto them. So Hey, but when Yahweh when Yahweh shot comes back, hey, then all that's gonna transition over to us, and they gonna be the prey. It says for my determination, you see. So this is the most odd plan. This is what I'm. This is what I want to do. It's to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So the most I, he has a plan for these different nations to judge them. Right, doing World War Three, you know, and all these other things. Right, the Most High, he got the exact way how he wants to do it. 
You see? So we just got to sit back and chill, teach this word, right? Like he commanded us. And the most I going to work, he going to do all the works. You see, this is what we going to be doing until the end. This is what we commanded to do as prophets. We ain't commanded to take arms or, or do anything, right? To be fighting with Esau or doing nothing like that. Right? That's hastening above the most I. You ain't operating in his spirit. If you ain't operating in the spirit, then you ain't got his covering. If you ain't got his covering, then you're going to be destroyed. You see? You know, so that was the lesson. I'm just verified. With that, I'm going to say shalom to you, brothers and sisters.